Hey, it's Ethan here at E-Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Swagman Chinook 2-bike rack on the back of our 2023 GMC Yukon XL. It is a 2-bike platform style of bike rack that's going to make primary contact on our frame here using these padded frame hooks. Now, because it does put that pressure down on our frame, we don't recommend using carbon frame bikes with these just because it could potentially be damaged while you're driving. It's one of the more entry-level bikes that have a couple of features like tilting it away and folding it up. And it still offers that weight capacity of 45 pounds, which is nice. To tilt it away, you have to reach back here to this lever. So if you do have both bikes loaded up, it might be a little bit tricky to get to. But you release that, the bike rack tilts. And we found that we get plenty of clearance to get into the back of our vehicle from there. Once we do, there's plenty of space back here to sit down if we need to change our shoes, just rest if you want to, or get anything you might need out of the back that you, for your ride, like helmets, waters, sunscreen, whatever you would need. Before we get the bike removed, I just wanted to point out these lock cores on the buttons for our frame hooks. If you do lock them, you won't have the ability to push the button and you won't be able to get the frame hooks off and the bike will be stored on there. But to get the bike removed, we'll first start by the straps at the wheels. We have the front strap undone already, so we'll just do the same thing with our back one. And the hooks do come all the way off, which is nice because they get out of the way. Start with this smaller one, holding onto the bike. We'll get the back or the longer one out of the way as well. If you tighten it down pretty firmly, the button does also get a little bit tougher to undo. But with that out of the way, if you do have a heavier bike, in our case we don't, but you could put this mass down. To get the mass down, you release this lever here and just get it going. Could be a little bit tough to start, but once you do, you can fold it down and get the bike up and away. If you choose to put the mask down to get the bike off, you'll have to bring it back up to get the hooks back on. Starting with the larger one first, just slide it back in, and then the smaller one after that. And then you can fold that back down if you need to. First, I'm going to start with replacing the straps. And I do want to point out a couple of things about the tray and the cradles, starting with the fact that if you use these knobs here, you can slide these up and down along the tray to accommodate a wheelbase of up to 50 inches. And as they are, these cradles are only able to support up to three inches, but there is a fat bike cradle that you can also get to support those fat bike tires up to five inches. With the hooks back on, we can get the center mats back out of the way, again, using that same lever that we used before to close it down. From this point, again, we could get back in the hatch with the bike rack folded down and the bikes off. Same situation as before, plenty of clearance to get back there if you need to, plenty of room to get items out of the back. If you are curious to know how much distance you're gonna have added onto the back of your vehicle, in this case, we'll get a measurement from the bumper to the furthest point back, which is gonna be these cradles on the end, coming in at 24 and a half inches that you're adding on. As far as ground clearance goes, there is a bit of a rise in the whole thing. So from the ground to the closest point that we're going to have to worry about, about 29 inches. And for how high you're going to have to lift the bikes, it's about 32 inches. So because the Yukon does sit a little bit tall and you have this rise right here, it does add a little bit of height to it. If you want to condense the whole back bike rack and save a little bit of space, use the same lever as you did to tilt it down and you'll hear it click into place. And it does sit a little bit close than some of the other racks that we've tested today, coming in at three inches, so still nothing that I'm gonna worry about. And from the bumper to the furthest point back, it's 15 inches, so it definitely saves a little bit of space. As far as what it's gonna cover on the back of your vehicle, the Chinook is a really compact bike rack, so pretty much nothing in our case. License plate, backup camera, tail lights, everything is pretty much fully visible. Now, with some other vehicles that we have tested this bike rack on, in this position, you can get into the hatch, but in our case for the Yukon XL, we cannot. It'll make contact with one of these cradles, no matter how far along the tray that we slide them. The shank for the rack is an inch and a quarter shank with the sleeve to fit into our two inch receiver tube held in place by this anti-rattle bolt and the lock on the end of it. So it's an inch and a quarter and it can work with a couple of different vehicles. So if you want to use it for a couple of different vehicles that you have, if one of them is an inch and a quarter receiver, you can do that. Overall, 
The Swagman Chinook is a really solid entry level option that does still have the features like tilting away and folding it towards your vehicle and it's really nice in that way. The thing that I might dislike about it the most is that the ability to tilt it away is that handle and it's in the back so if you have both bikes loaded up it can be a little tricky but overall I do still think it's really impressive and it's a nice fit on the 2023 GMC Yukon XL. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 